Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication as comparison. This is standard 3.5c, great state of Texas. We are using item number 20 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to solve this problem. And then when you have, go ahead and unpause the video. Let's look at the answer together. So we have Hakeem. We've only got one number in our problem. He received 13 phone calls on Tuesday, so this is going to be our, our 13 phone calls. And then this expression can be used, so we're talking about this right here, to show the number of calls he received on Saturday. So we'll say Tuesday equals 13, that's what it says, and then Saturday is this 13 times 4. And then we just need to read four statements and find one that is uh, true. And you see we've got, it all has to do with his number four. So we know that he had 13 phone calls on Tuesday. And then something happened. And then on Saturday, we have to do something with four, what well, says times four. So let's see if we can figure out what each of these selections are. We're going to look at each of these answers, see if we can draw a picture to represent them. Hakeem received four more calls on Saturday than he received on Sunday, or than he received on Tuesday. So what that would mean is that what Saturday would equals, and we've got this four more calls than Tuesday. So they're comparing Tuesday and Saturday. And so Tuesday is 13. And four more. So four more. Well, that's going to give us a clue we're going to add. So they are saying Saturday is going to be your Tuesday, which is 13, and then four more. So obviously we have a 13 and we have a four, but our operation is incorrect because they're wanting us to say four more on Saturday. So that's probably not going to be it. Let's look at G. Hakeem received four more calls on Tuesday than he did on Saturday. Now that's a little bit more confusing because Tuesday, and so we're going to say Saturday now is going to be this 13, and then we're going to take away four because he, he got four more on Tuesday than he did on Saturday, and all we know is Tuesday is 13. So now we got to take away four to get to our Saturday. So it looks like our operation is still not what we need it to be. We need it to be multiplication. So let's see what this right here. Hakeem received four times as many phone calls on Saturday than he received on Tuesday. So we're looking at Saturday here. So we've got Saturday, and we need to receive four times as many phone calls on Saturday than Tuesday. Well, Tuesday is 13. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to just kind of do this. I'll say Tuesday is, I'm going to just put a box right here. So Tuesday is 13. And so if Hakeem received four times as many on that on Saturday, it's going to be four boxes or four groups of 13. I just want to make like a little strip diagram here just to try to represent what we have. So this all goes here to number to H. Hakeem received four times as many phone calls on Saturday. Well, guys, it looks like this might work because look at my Saturday is four times as big as my Tuesday. I'm comparing Saturday and Tuesday. And that's what it means with multiplication is comparison. We're not doing equal groups necessarily. We're comparing. So let's just take a look at J. And J, you see, has got the days flipped. So now they're going to say he received four times as many on Tuesday than he received on Saturday. So now what we're going to do here is we'll take our Tuesday, and that's going to be our box of 13. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our Saturday, and we're going to have to cut that up into four little chunks. Because we have four times as many on Tuesday as Saturday, and this, unfortunately, is going to represent division. This is going to be Saturday equals 13 divided by 4, which isn't even a fact, which means the answer would have to be a decimal. So the answer is H.